In this video, we'll be making the Deaconess style rectangular pleated mask. To make this mask, you'll need two pieces of 7 by 9 inch fabric and two 7 inch lengths of elastic. Take two layers of fabric and stack them together front to back. If the fabric doesn't look different enough on the back, use two entirely different pieces of fabric. It's important that the wearers can easily tell one side from another. Our first assembly step is pinning the elastics into place. Separate two pieces of fabric at the corner so we can pin in between the two layers about a quarter inch from the edge. Make sure the elastic isn't twisted and that it's in between the two pieces of fabric because we're going to turn it around later. Pin the elastic to each corner. Do the same thing on the other side. Next, we'll sew the two pieces together. Sew around the outside. Remember that the mask is still inside out. You'll need to leave a couple of inches unstitched so you can turn it right side out before proceeding. The elastics are now on the outside. You still have two distinct colors so the wearer can tell the front from the back. Next, we'll pin the pleats. We want three tucks on each side to give us the best fit. I do mine about a quarter inch folded over. Try to make them evenly spaced, but it doesn't need to be perfect. then pin the other side. I pull the whole thing taut to make them line up. Finally, we'll top stitch the entire mask. I like to start in the place where I left the opening and then stitch over that part when I come around so that part gets double stitching. Remove the pins as you stitch. Stitch around the entire mask and trim the thread. You now have a completed mask. Elastic is in short supply at the moment and there's been a lot of talk about using ties that go around the head instead of around the ears. You have a few options for ties. I've used both bias tape and strips of t-shirt. Attach them the same way that you would attach the elastic, but instead of looping them around, leave four separate ties. We've found that the top ties need to be about 19 inches and the bottom ties about 14. Remember to put them on the inside of the fabric when you're pinning so that they're on the outside when you flip it around. 